up, y'all? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Guess what? We're going to uh, get drunk and talk about everything under the sun. <laughs> Show about anything and anything under the sun. We didn't do that. All right. Let's do it. This episode yeah. is fire. Check us out every week on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Spotify. Oh, shit. I come at you every week. First of all, this is for entertainment. We're not educational. Yeah. We're not. If you're coming to get your education from us, you are clearly misguided. Exactly. But, but check us out. We're the show about anything and everything under the sun. We check us out. I show up. Like, what are you doing in there? He's like, I swear to God. Swear to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's legit. Either. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with John. I said John. John. <laughs> John. No, it's Tom. Tom and Joe. God damn, how drunk am I? Hey guys! What's going on? Oh, that's just drinking. Ah, screaming, I deserve this. <laughs> what did he deserve? Fuck! Like and subscribe so you get the notifications when we do drop something. Probably pretty fucking lame. But anyways, check it out. Drinking the Sun, podcast about anything and everything under the sun. So you watched anything else recently? Yeah, I watched Glass Onion. Glass not, Onion? Yeah, Knives Out. Uh... Knives Out mystery. I have not seen Knives Out. Knives well, I Out knew is that they tied together. Well, see, the well, only thing that ties together is Daniel Craig. Okay, They're two separate stories, two separate casts. So Daniel Craig, he's the detective or whatever. Detective, yeah. yeah, it's a who done it. Yeah, and it is done well. So moving into the <coughs> movie, would you say that it's very well probably not Daniel Craig? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He is, he's like a, he plays like a country type of detective dude, okay. but he's like smart. Okay. Um, I've not seen the first one, but I knew both of them were like mystery, murder. Yeah, the first one's really, I like the first one even better than the second one. Yeah. Because the ending, the okay. ending of the first one is like clear and concise. At the end of the second one, it's like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> like, like because what ends up happening was that at the end of the second one, the killer doesn't go to jail. Just gets fucked up, you know? Uh-huh. It's a fucked up ending. But, uh, huh. the other, and the other one, it's like, the guy who's doing the murders. Yeah. He goes to jail. He gets, he, he get, he gets his, he gets his shit done. You yeah. Know? So, um, yeah, I, it's really, but it's, it's done well because it's, the way they, it has you guessing the whole time. Yeah, it's one of those ones like you. I don't. I don't think you can really see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Huh. I didn't see this shit coming, and it fucking. Uh, but the person was around like the whole time or whatever. Or? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. Yeah. So everybody's there the whole time. Type yeah. one of them killed somebody. It's like Clue. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was imagining. Clue, but more adult. Better, better, <laughs> better mystery. Yeah. <laughs> they don't all have cards. <laughs> That's cool though. Like I, I am interested. It's a star-studded cast. Oh, the first one was pretty good, dude. Well, oh, the first it? one's got a shit ton of people in it. Yeah, but this one's got a shit ton of people in it too. Mm-hmm. This one's got fucking Ethan Hawke is in it for a second. Okay. Uh, uh, Ed Norton, mm-hmm. Batista, um, um. Daniel Craig. Yeah. Um, I, oh, Batista's the murderer. God, who the fuck? I bet Batista's oh, the uh, murderer. No, Batista <laughs> dies. Oh, shit. He's the murdered. Yeah. He gets murdered. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, uh, what's her face? Not, um, can, I cannot ever remember her name for some reason now. It's Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell's daughter. Kay Hudson. Oh, okay. Kay Hudson. It starts at a cat. Huh. huh. I'll definitely have to check it out. I know Elise was really interested in it. I she saw Knives Out. I didn't see Knives, Knives Out. Knives Out was really good. I yeah. like it. I like it better than this one. Yeah. But this one's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Still, still worth good. watching. Oh, very. Yeah, very good. That's 100%. good. That's good. So what is the setting again on this one? This is just a dude, this ultra famous rich guy. Mm-hmm. 
who created something. Yeah. You find out he, he really whacked. didn't. Uh oh. He has a uh, party, like a murder mystery party. Uh -huh. Like, but he winds up getting murdered. No, it, Batista ends up getting murdered. Oh. Uh, and yeah. because this one chick that gets murdered that you thought she got murdered, she really doesn't. And you have to see. Yeah, I can okay. spoil it a lot. Yeah. But it would ruin it. Yeah. 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 I, I don't. I don't want to ruin it. it okay. And there's a lot of twists and turns. In yeah. It. That's one thing I say about it is it's had a lot of twists and turns. It had it had fucking uh, the the angles, the cameras, yeah, the fucking the the story. It was, it was all, all it was really fucking good. That's good, really good. That is a good night. Where are they in the movie though? Like, didn't the mean? first one wasn't the first one on a train or some shit? No, the first one was at like a. Mansion. I'm thinking of something way different. And the first <laughs> first one, the, see, in the first one, I can give I can spoil it. That's but whatever. See how the murder starts is this old dude dies. It's weird how he dies, and they're trying to, and then there's some more connections, and then you get connected here, and you don't see this connection, and then yeah. you see it, yeah. and then everything matches. You're like, holy shit, that's oh, amazing! Oh, it's one of those movies. Yeah, that's cool. Are these books you know, or are they just? I movies? have no idea. It comes across like they might be books since it's a glass. It's kind of a series, kind of. No, but Ryan Johnson did the first and. Second one, and I think he's wrote them. I don't think there's books. Oh, okay. I think yeah. it's original Maybe they're movies. Not. That's cool. I think they are. Well, then it's don't quote well me, done. but I yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about it. It may or may not be. I don't know. It comes across like it'd be a book to me, but if it's not, well done. <laughs> because, like, I mean, I feel like to write a movie that's so like has and the mystery and shit like yeah. that in it, it feels like it'd be more difficult than writing a book that way. Not really, because yeah. writing a movie, you're usually more vague. Yeah, okay. You're trying to say, you're trying to convey, get an idea in someone's head with saying less words. Okay. So okay. instead of saying the past, the, the, the trees were blowing in the wind and the fucking rain swept through, it was a windy, rainy night. He came through. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. A okay. man was walking. <laughs> instead of the the pace of his stride was all I oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I get it. All right, but I have to check it out. I, I am interested. I was interested in the first. Never saw it. At least saw it. But if I didn't see <coughs> Knives Out, I'm cool watching this movie. Right? Like, oh yeah, one hundred percent. There's no nothing, no, no. nothing to do with it. It's just some different mystery for. It's what it that is. guy. Yeah, it, it's a different mystery for that guy. It's yeah. like it's like James Bond. James. Like a James Bond movie. Okay. You know? Okay. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig is a shit. Or Sherlock Holmes. Was he? I don't know. I was just making it up because he's a murder mystery guy. Yeah, this but, whole time. Yeah, but he's an American. Thinking, he's an American. This whole time I'm like, man, I can talk about that movie that I watched that had a very similar plot. See how they run? Tom already did it. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, a rich guy at a party. I watched a movie like that. Yeah, but he was a director. <laughs> yeah. And you watched did you it, watch first, it And we already talked about it. But yeah, I did yeah. watch it. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't watch it when I when No, I no, no, no. I watched so it we, after we, you we told reviewed me about it. it. Oh, so yeah. you did watch it. Yeah, I did watch it. It's really good. It's pretty good. Yeah. So if you like that, you'll love Glass Onion. Oh, okay. You'll love Knives Out. Okay. Because it, it's because that that one was another who done it that to me took me on twists and turns mm -hmm. the whole fucking time. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't like sit you down. Yeah. By the end of the time of the movie, you're like, "Oh shit, that's who killed." Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. All right. right. I'll definitely have to check it out, and I can watch them in whatever order I want. I guess. So is it on Netflix right now? Is it a Netflix movie? I, I, I rented it. Oh, you rented the, it from the library. Okay, I didn't know if it was if it was streaming or not. Okay. No. It should be take that action. back. No, I'm thinking of see how they run. Yo, Last <laughs> Onion is on Netflix. Okay. Because I think the other one was, or is still. I don't. I don't know. The other one's Knives Out is the one I rented. Oh, okay. All right. That's that. I remember reading cool. that one. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to check it out then. That's a review. Yeah, it is. Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. A thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. And thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk on the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.